uh, we will start with, uh, uh, I think you're close, to, just because there are only the two of you, no problem of rotation. Uh, we'll start with you, Mr. Davis, and you're given, I think we've given you four minutes. Four minutes. Well, good evening, and thank you for coming tonight. It's uh, rather fun to always come to those things. I really enjoy them. I do talk a lot. She's right. It's hard for me to stop talking, so you know that as well. However, there was one additional thing that was just released by the Register of Voters, if you know, on the ballot, that you are, in fact, able to vote at the Orange Crest Community Center on the 1st and 2nd of June. You can have a drop-off point there, as well as here on Marion Lincoln at the, the State of Brothers Center. There is going to be a drop-off point there as well, so that uh, if you did not get an opportunity to set it off on Saturday, you have an opportunity to drop them off those points as well, so that will help the uh, voters as well to get that out there. Uh, again, my name is Paul Davis. Uh, I'll give you a little background. Some of you do know me. I see a lot of familiar faces in the... Uh, the audience, some of you do not know me. Uh, I uh, come from uh, Arizona in 1978, have been a resident in uh, the uh, Riverside area since then, about 31 years. Uh, I have graduated from Riverside Poly High School. I attended RCC like just about uh, everybody in Riverside, I hope, and attended the University of Phoenix where I studied business management with an emphasis on economics and finance. Uh, I worked briefly in law enforcement for about two years for the county the sheriff's department as well as the Riverside Police Department. However, prior to that, I was always interested and always had the forte, and I'm very good at numbers and understanding the, the, uh, uh, the business around that particular arena. So I went back into that arena and have done very well for myself. At a very young age, I was uh, promoted to uh, uh, mid to, to, to high level managements within some of the largest financial institutions in the country, uh, where I had uh, vast responsibilities for economic policy as well as finance and, and operations. Uh, I, I personally stand for uh, a fiscal responsibility. I have 21 years experience in both business management, finance, economics, and operations. I have a pretty good understanding of how many things in that particular arena work, and therefore it's going to be very important through this uh, sour economy and downturn that we have people in the positions of government who are able to work through those on a long term and not just a short term basis, because that's what our ultimate goal is to make things in life easier for our children. Uh, and in saying that uh, fiscal responsibility, uh, we must preserve our, our Riverside basic services. We're in a, a position right now. We did have a uh, fairly sizable reserve that is being depleted rather rapidly, and now there's no plans for the council currently as, as the what if this happens and how are we going to get around it. And if there is such, it's of course not to ever make public because that's something that hasn't been going on very well here in the last eight years. Uh, we need to better address our foreclosure crisis. Uh, there's some of the council's ideas of buying foreclosure and selling is a good idea. However, I'm not so sure that uh, it's a good idea for the city government to go into the business of real estate and sales and so forth. So I think it's important that we get together with those particular agencies and real estate groups and, and their uh, action groups and see how we can help resolve that uh, on a different basis. Uh, we also must uh, bring better diverse business to our, our city. It's very important. We, we've relied too heavily on construction and too heavily on these uh, uh, logistical warehouses that are very low paying jobs for the most part. There are some decent paying jobs. We need to be better high paying jobs. We need to be able to live and afford to work here. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty important to us. I support the Community Com uh, View Commission and believe that some changes will need to be made for them to bring back the authorities which were given to them and it's very important that we do so. I will support Measure R and our correction uh, on Proposition R and Measure C. It's very important that our open spaces remain and I will fight for that while I'm on council. Uh, my public safety ties into the uh, park and recreation. I'm a big time park and rec guy myself. I uh, coach in both pony and soon to be football. Uh, my kids have finally taken that jump to go into that, so this is about to be fun. I look forward to that. Uh, so uh, I got about 30 seconds left, so I, I strongly encourage you uh, to take care of our environment. I, I think that our proposals within the city are, are, are a start. We need to do a lot more. I just recently installed solar in my house, so I'm truly uh, going green, and I encourage you all to do the same and look forward to your questions. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Davis, the challenger, and now Mr. Uh, Chavione, who is our city councilman. Thank you, Rose. Hi, I'm Frank Schiavone. A lot of you know me. A lot of familiar faces here today. Um, first, I want to thank everybody for coming this evening. And I also want to thank Paul, believe it or not, for uh, having the courage to jump into this arena. It's a very difficult process to go through. Very few people have the courage to do it. And uh, anyone who's willing to get into this ought to give some credit to him because it really is a difficult task. Um, let me take you back a little bit how I ended up here to become the councilman representing this area. I'm in my eighth year now, second term. Uh, go back about, uh, go back to 1970, graduated high school, 
joined the Marine Corps, followed my father, my grandfather's footsteps. Um, came home from Vietnam in 1972 and started banging nails as a carpenter. Uh, bought a house in Irvine. The house was 980 square feet, two bedroom, one bath. I did a little addition to it at 600 square feet, so which is sizable for that size. And a neighbor came down and said, hey, can you do one for me? And I said, well, sure, I'm not a contractor, but I'll give it a shot. And anyway, I did that. That led to another one, another one, another one. So at age 22, I went to one of those pass or pay nothing schools and got my contractor's license. 1978, I uh, was looking for some bigger property from Orange County. Came out Michael Beard Canyon, looked around, and found two and a half acres. And eight, at age 24, I built my first home in Mockingbird Canyon, and it was paid for at 24. I wish I could say that today. Uh, after that, um, it started a career in business. Uh, the first time that I ever signed the back of a paycheck was in 2002, when I got elected to the city council. Up until then, since I was 22 years old, I always signed the front of a check by being a business owner. So I know what it is to run a business. I know what it is to balance a budget. In the city of Riverside today, in this global economic meltdown, and I want to emphasize it's global. It's not the city of Riverside. It's not the county of Riverside. It's not the state. It's global. The city of Riverside right now, this very second, is positioned with a balanced budget and a $45 million healthy reserve. When I got elected eight years ago, it was about $6 million that we had in reserve. That's primarily the way that we're avoiding the mass layoffs that you see occurring around us. Some of us very close. Uh, newspaper story the other day in the Press Enterprise that the county's looking at maybe a thousand positions, $130 million in the hole. Um, we're not there. It's, we positioned ourselves a little bit sooner than they did. And they have other issues with property tax that they depend on that we're not is affected so much. So we know how to handle a budget. This council, I've made this comment before, City Hall is working. Is it perfect? No. But to be able to maintain the status quo and continue to provide uh, basic city services in this economy is really remarkable considering what's happened around us. So um, the present council that you have today, I'm going to plug Andy Melendrez, who's running for re-election, and Nancy Hart in Ward 6 also. It's working very, very well. Thank you.